All right, number 433003, establish free positions when offered. This is my favorite thing in the world to do. This was the NNE from a while back. There's the parameters. This ULS also turns a free position, but it said stopped out, as has NNE. Entry was there, stop was there. Again, we have initial profit target. And this turned out to be one of our quickest big winners. But you can see this thing. We took partial profits within a couple of days. It absolutely blasted higher. And then we got stopped out. Now, we did give up a lot of gains, and that's a bit of a bummer. That's a whole another webinar that I did just on that a while back. If the stock would have had options, I think life would have been a lot easier. But within a week or so time, and this is on a hypothetical 100K account, although these are my actual trades I took here that I'm showing you, but on a hypothetical 100K account, around 5% or $5,000. So just that one trade makes a $5,000 swing to the upside. And let's see, so that's uh, 4000 $5,000 followed mechanically. Now, I, I applied a little bit of discretion, and I didn't quite get that $5,000 in my model account, but I did okay on that trade. Here's the ARLP stock that Jeff was talking about. And it was in a nice uptrend. And this, if you back the chart way, 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 way out, this was a major low. This stock had bottomed out for a long time. And it was a Landry Light pullback, and it took off nicely. The entry was there. And I'll just go through it quickly because we've talked about this one a thousand times. One of my favorite uh, setups ever, obviously. And then we took partial profits and then trailed the stop higher. Now, just FYI, because I did mention dead money, this thing goes weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and sometimes months without making new highs, okay? New equity, new highs from where you entered, right? or new, new all-time highs, I should say. So during that time, you're just you're just waiting and waiting. A lot of times, like back here, for instance, this is kind of a Chinese water torch. It just goes down and down and down and down. It tries to rally, then goes down and down and down and down. And I guarantee you, most of my clients didn't stick with this thing for two years. Now, Jeff, I'm proud of you, buddy. <laughs> Jeff's been in it for four years. That's pretty awesome. So the real money is in these longer-term trends. And establishing free positions is key. I haven't figured out zero DT options. If you figure them out, let me know. And don't say I'm doing the butterfly reverse condor inverted spread. I don't want to even I don't even learn how to do that because that's just going to mess with my head. But anybody that uh, or maybe something simple like uh, ratio spreads, I'll, I'll I'll nibble at that every now and then. But the point I'm trying to make is anytime I put on one of these these speculative type of option positions such as zero DTE options, I immediately put in a sell order for half. And today I've got two free rolls, but everything didn't materialize. I think I ended up losing a little money overall. But I was positioned for those free positions where you, you let the the market, so to speak, pay for your position through taking the partial profits. Anyway, so that one stopped out. Another Livermore-ism, men who can be right and sit tight are uncommon. Anyway, here's all the trades. I think I had a few more shares, extra 300, but I did flip those extra 300 out for a profit. But I think in the service, it was close to that too, close to $20,000. And again, the, the OSMO, osmosis, you guys know what these people do? I have no idea. <laughs> and I don't care, right? Okay, don't confuse the issue with facts. I almost looked them up earlier. Whenever I find myself looking up one of these shit coins, it tends to jinx me. But anyway, so you can see this is a free position. So I'll follow up on this one in upcoming webinars and we'll see, we'll see what happens, good, bad, or indifferent, like I did with the TIA a while back, I think. Anyway, so that's a free position. That's the ultimate goal. Again, if you're buying a speculative option, a cheap option, then um, flip flip out half at a double to pay for your position. If you're trading these shit coins, flip out half at 20%. Eventually, I'm going to have to adjust the volatility, but that's what I've been using lately is 20%. Okay. And 
break your stop up to break even on the rest. And if it goes to the moon, follow it to the moon. I got you, Jeff.